The song Deconstruction started as a couple of riffs that I had written and having had time to track in the studio in Buenos Aires, Argentina, where together with my partner, we built a studio that we call La Roca, The Rock. I was able to spend time in the studio and started tracking that song. And I had a collection of riffs that then became an instrumental track. I actually was able to use the first Mesa Boogie that I ever had, which is a late 90s dual rectifier. And, and the sound that you're hearing, the guitars, that thundering guitar sound that you're hearing is a Les Paul Custom, an actual 1969 Les Paul Custom through that dual rectifier. Once I was able to track that and create an initial instrumental mix, I sent that to my dear friend, Serge Tankian, who I consider a brother. I asked him if he was willing to listen to the song but stressing that as my brother, if he didn't like the song, please let me know, and I still loved him. So I sent him the link, he listened to the song, and he immediately replied and said, I love it, I'll write the lyrics and I'll sing on it. And he told me, give me about a week and I'll get that back to you. Well, literally 24 hours later, I get a message from Serge with the stems of his vocals. And is what you're hearing, the song Deconstruction, which was a lyric inspired by what he is seeing is happening and what we are doing to our planet and the kind of damage that we are doing to the planet. And so once I had Serge's vocals, I mixed that in and I sent it to Tony Ayomi and I asked Tony if he would be willing to listen, as I call him my godfather, as my godfather, if you don't like the song, please tell me and I still love you. Well, he wrote back to me, said, I actually do love the song, and I love Serge, and I love what he did with his song, so I'm gonna write the solo. And he said, give me about a week. The next day, I get a message from Tony with the solo stem. And he said, I was in the studio, I was inspired, and I tracked the solo. So that's how this song came to be. And in talking with Serge and with Tony, we decided, what are we going to call this? And it was actually Serge's idea to call it the Gibson Band so that we can then do more and collaborate with other artists. We have a lot of great musicians at Gibson and this concept and idea of having a collaboration between us at Gibson, our Gibson artists, I think is a great idea. So by calling it Gibson Band, it opens the opportunity for us to continue to do that and doing really across genres and any kind of music. And then to take it a step further with the concept of deconstruction, Serge proposed that he would do a piece of art that would be the art of the single. And this is the artwork that is the single cover. For those that like it heavy, that you like this song, because that, that's always what comes out of me. And as we do more through Gibson Band, I look forward to getting more songs in more genres of music out there so that people can listen and tell us what they think. And so this concept of having a song in collaboration with Serge and with Tony is a dream to me. I hope you enjoy the song.